My name is Ken Bouchel. I'm one of the regional managers for Akuma. And my name is Chris Davala. I'm a principal engineer in the applications engineering department here at Akuma. Okay, today we're going to talk about the LB3000 EX Mark II. What we have mounted to it is an OGL10 gantry loader designed and built by Akuma. The LB3000 is really our flagship product. It's the number one quoted machine we have in our lineup. It comes in multiple configurations as far as bed lengths, as far as N function, Y, and W. This particular machine has MYW. We have almost 10,000 LB3000s worldwide installed in the field. I'd like Chris to talk about some of the features of the OGL-10. Absolutely. So as Ken mentioned, this is an OGL-10. So the 10 stands for 10 kilograms of weight capacity. We have five different variations of this. So we can go anywhere from a 5 kg to 150 kg. So basically from 11 pounds to 330 pounds. We can mount this to our smallest LB2000 lathe or our largest LB45 lathe. So there's a wide variety of equipment that will suit your automation needs. This particular one has a 20 station stocker table. They also come in a 10 and a 6, so depending on the volume of parts that you need to take care of, we have something that fits just about every application. These are engineered solutions, so basically every one is custom fit to your application and your needs. Inside the machine, we have a swivel hand. We can use chucker work or shaft work, so depending on what kind of parts that you have and multiple variations of the swivel to accommodate whatever you need. Hey Chris, what about programming the machine? Programming is actually quite easy. So this particular machine, we use GNM code programming, so it's basically just point to point. So instead of a PLC like a lot of robotic stuff would have or automation things would have, it's very simple GNM code. So you can easily teach your points, understand your program. It's all done through an integrated teach pendant on the machine tool. So you don't have a third party integration of any kind, no separate robot controller. Everything is done right from the OSP control. So it makes it very user friendly. Speaking of the LB series lathe, how do you think customers feel about this machine? What's their favorite aspect of this machine? I would say the favorite aspect is the accuracy of the machine. This is a very thermally stable platform. It's built on a very unique box slant bed design. It makes it extremely thermally stable, minimizing operator invention and offsets throughout the day. Akuma's thermal friendly concept is based on several principles. Chris, can you talk about those principles? Sure, that's a great point. The thermal friendly concept for Akuma means we have a bunch of sensors mounted inside the spindle and the casting. We understand and can predict very accurately how the machine will grow throughout the day based on ambient temperature. So what we do is we make minute adjustments in the background that the operator never needs to see. So instead of him having to chase offsets when the temperature changes throughout the day, the machine does that for you and it minimizes the operator intervention. So in an automated cell like this, that's very critical because you don't want to be chasing offsets all over the place. So it makes it very user friendly for the operator. So some of the other features of this machine that lend themselves well to automation are things like an automatic touch setter. So when you're running production unattended, you wanna check on your tools, make sure you don't have any tools that are broken. Maybe you need to make minute offset adjustments. We can use the touch setter for things like that. We could also mount the spindle probe to the turret. So if we wanted to do any checking in process, your workpiece size, we have the ability to do that. If you don't wanna check in process, we can add a third party piece of automation to do part measurement outside in the cell. So you can still have your operator keep track of all your part sizes without having to be here all the time. Other things we can do are things like tool load monitoring and tool life monitoring with redundant tooling. So any time you wanna run automation, you wanna make sure that you have a very solid process, good chip control, keep on top of your tooling, all without an operator having to babysit this thing. Okay, this concludes the discussion on the LB3000 EX Mark II and Akuma OGL Gantry Loader. Thank you.